Growing up, I used to think Lent was like the longest of weeks in the entire year. Anytime I heard Lent, I automatically had all sorts of not-so-positive feelings. Lent is sometimes reduced to that time in the life of the church in which we give stuff up. For me, it's usually Starbucks. I tell people in my parish that Lent isn't meant to be a season that makes ourselves miserable. And it is certainly not a time to make the lives of the people around us miserable. Lent, however, is a time to grow in faith, love, and focus. Lent is this time that allows us to focus on what matters most, our relationship with God. In Lent, we are drawn more deeply into this mystery of a God whose love for you and me is so real, so true, so unconditional, that God gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Lent is about discovering again, or maybe for the first time, what life can be. If you're anything like me, there is stuff in your life that holds you back. Attitudes, inabilities to let go of the past, love lost, challenges, sinfulness. We spend so much energy trying to hide that from others and from ourselves, that we can lose focus on who God is calling us to be. This Lent, I invite you to be still, breathe deeply, and bask in this wonderful truth that God sends his Son to give you life. Maybe this Lent, you can give up what has been holding you back so that on Easter Sunday, you will be ready to walk in the freedom God's love will make real for you.